Welcome back, guys, to our Ultimate Spider-Man playthrough. This is our final episode. We are up against the last boss, Venom, at his maximum power. Watch out for those tendrils. You know, I just realized that uh, there was a Sandman reference. He wasn't even in the game. This is one title that is super duper short, super fun, but short, that could have totally used a sequel. And I'm really sad that it didn't have one. by hitting him head-on, sliding through his legs. Well, I tried. Can't work every time. And then rinse and repeat. You kind of got to take some damage. You just got to sacrifice yourself a little bit. Ragdoll throw, very nice. If you try to avoid taking damage, you'll never beat this. And that helicopter, you bet, is actually moving, so you want to make sure that you get through this. Move now. Hey, please stop this. Did we get him? There it is. Damn those blows. Oh. It's been said that Spider Man, like, I think it was in. Well, I'll explain it later. It was important. Over. Now I can learn everything that Trask knew about what happened ten years ago. Burn it. We'll start new. Peter, I have all these things in my head, things I want to say, things I think is your father you'll need to hear. You're going to find that there are people in this world, people who you are going to look at and say, why is this person like this? I find myself surrounded by people who will do or say anything just for the appearance that they are better than they are. There were three survivors of the crash. They all reported seeing the same thing. One of the witnesses was my mother. She died in the ambulance. Peter, you did good today. Eddie needs to see this. It's about our parents. Eddie's not here. He was gone before we showed up. We'll find him. We always do. Mr. Trask. I have been looking forward to this. Eddie? I can't believe. You know what I can't believe? I can't believe that after all the things you did, all the things you made me do, that after all of that, all you got was three years in a golf course prison. You can't do anything to me in here. The guards, they aren't here. Well, enough. <laughs> you want to talk about it? Uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't know where to begin. You can just ramble. I'm okay. I love you. I know. Oh. It's just... What? Eddie. 
I mean, he's out there. And I don't know if I'm scared of him or for him. That is disgusting. Why is it sunny where Peter is? And raining over here? I don't know. Whatever. But he's not here. No. Light time on one side of the city and I'm here. Sun setting on the other. It's possible. Alright. Well, there we go. Venom unlocked. Okay, let's take a look and see what that's like. Unlockables, costumes, normal suit. Did he get any other suits? Nope, didn't really give us anything else, huh? Let's see. Unlockables. Concept art costumes, landmarks, characters. Carnage. Police officer. Electro. Hmm. Covers. Concept art. Interesting. Unlockable in what way? Is there, like, some sort of area that I can, like, check in and all of a sudden, like, I can switch characters or something? Curious. Well, anyway, what I was saying before is you'll notice in that fight sequence when he was beating the crap out of Venom, Spider-Man is known to be way stronger than he ever shows. Like, he has to hold himself back. I think it was in the Superior Spider-Man, uh, an entire story arc, totally brilliant, where uh, Dr. Octopus takes over as the role of Spider-Man after taking over Peter Parker's body, he realizes that, holy crap, like, Spider-Man is way stronger than I ever thought. Like, much, much stronger. And, uh, and he's like, why didn't he ever use this strength? He could have defeated me and, you know, countless other enemies so much easier, but Spider-Man has to hold himself back because he doesn't want to kill anybody. He doesn't want to hurt anybody, you know? That's like, I think of it kind of like this. If you think about a superhero, let's say, I don't know, DC superhero, Superman, for example. The dude is so crazy strong, he has to show, like, unfathomable restraint in order to, like, hold just a glass of water so he doesn't, like, you know, crush it in his hands. Now, you can imagine other things that he does in his daily life where he has to really hold back his strength because one slip up and he could be, I don't know, crushing a building on accident, like, through a sneeze or crushing Lois Lane just with a hug or, I don't know, handshake you know what I mean spider-man not nearly as strong as Superman obviously but he has a lot more strength than he shows for a similar reason because he has to restrain himself otherwise he can cause some serious damage and much like superheroes do spider-man isn't really one to want to kill people you know and obviously ever since Uncle Ben died he wanted to make sure that the whole great power great responsibility thing was followed and uh, saving lives not taking them so Actually, I've come to think of it, I can't really think of a single time Peter ever killed anybody. I'm sure he has under unique duress and circumstances, but I can't think of any. I think it's going to stop me in a second. I don't know how far down I can go. Let's see. Right about here. I can still go. Hmm. Very small playable area, but I thought it would stop me by now. But anyway, Ultimate Spider-Man, one of my favorite favorite games, especially from the era 2005, super duper short. You can get the, through the entire game, at least the campaign, in just a couple, maybe a few hours possibly, depending on how fast you are if you're speeding through it. But, uh, oh man, I really wish there was, oh hey, this is uh, Sanctum Santorum, right, or whatever? Uh, this is Doctor Strange's house, or, you know, equivalent, whatever. Let's take a look around real fast and see. You can tell... First off, like, those windows are purple. Not that that's, like, a huge indicator. The gargoyles are one thing, but that, I mean, this right here, I mean, that's that's pretty significant. You can see the mystic art sort of animation behind it, I think, right? That's the idea. But uh, I really wish they would have done a sequel to this. Or, like, you know, a remaster that just built on this game, because it's still kind of pretty. It holds up as far as I'm concerned. I think it looks really cool. I like this... Uh, animated comic book cell shaded style it's pretty dope overall really enjoyed this i'm i am disappointed that it's so short i did expect it to be a little bit longer but you know that's just how it be sometimes not every game can check off all the boxes it's 
beautiful. It's fun. Once you get the hang of swinging through the city, it's a total breeze, even though it still doesn't make sense that he's only shooting from his right hand for his web shooters. Very odd. I don't really know how to switch uh, characters, though, to, uh, to Venom. I'm not sure what that's about. Anyway, guys, if you did watch this whole playthrough, I appreciate you. Thank you for that. I hope you guys enjoyed me playing through it uh, just as much as I had fun actually playing it. But uh, good times. Nostalgia. Nostalgia? 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 Whatever. Enjoyed it. It was good. We'll look forward to the next playthrough. I kind of feel a little bit more Spider-Man, though. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I feel like I might stick a little bit more Spider-Man for a while. I got, some, uh, I got some other games that I really want to play in the uh, Spider-Man era, but uh, we'll have to wait and see what we come up with tomorrow when we continue on with a brand new playthrough right here on the Mark 9 channel. You can expect brand new episodes each and every day at 10 a.m., as well as 10 p.m. as part of the Mark After Dark segment of the channel where we do scary games. A lot of those are kind of classics, possibly retro-isk, as you will. Uh, I just say classics, as it were. But uh, we do a lot of good stuff, a lot of scary stuff, a lot of blood violence, all that, you know, everything you like. Uh, at 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time as well. So two videos a day, 10 a.m. and 10 p.m. So check those out if you haven't already. You might find something that you like. Otherwise, before you head out, don't forget to like the video. Helps me, and I appreciate that. Helps the channel grow, and if you like the channel, who doesn't want to see it grow? You know what I mean? Hey, we're back home. Subscribe as well and uh, turn on notifications if you care to so that way you can be notified anytime a brand new video goes live Even though I pretty much just told you exactly when the videos go live and uh, If you have any comments or feedback on this playthrough Just leave it on any one of the related videos for ultimate spider-man and I'll get to it I'll Try my best to reply to every single person uh, You know I enjoy the feedback. I enjoy replying to you guys and hear what you have to say and conversing about it But uh, anyway, thank you guys for watching again I appreciate you so, so much. Have a good rest of your day, and I will see you tomorrow when we continue. All right, guys, take care of yourselves, and uh, see you later.